Congratulations and thank you for making a great decision by choosing to build your website with Web Starts. In this short video, I will show you a few of the basic things you'll need to know to begin editing the pages of your website. What you're looking at here is called the dashboard view. And to edit the pages of your website, you'll want to begin by clicking on the edit website icon. This will load the page editor. In the page editor, you can toggle between pages by selecting the page that you would like to edit from the drop down menu in the top left. If you would like to add text to a page, that's easy. Click on the add icon, then choose text, then choose the size and style of text that you would like to add to your page. You can edit the contents of a text box at any time by double clicking and just selecting the text and begin typing. You can change things like the color of the text, the style, the font, anything you want about the text on either an individual or site-wide basis. To change one specific text box, just select the text and then choose something like, for example, the color that you would like to be applied. If you would like to make these changes on a site-wide basis to save you the time of reapplying things like font size and style, click on the design brush and then choose the text style option. Locate the text style that you would like to edit and then simply set the properties. To add images to your web page, just click on the insert image icon. Then this will launch what we call the file manager. The file manager consists of files that I've already uploaded from my local computer. If you haven't uploaded any photos, you can always do that by clicking on the upload option or you can get photos from your Facebook account, your Instagram account, or use some of the photos that we've already included in the image library. I select the photo that I would like to add to the page. I click insert and I can now drag and drop this photo wherever I would like it to appear. I can use the handles to resize it and I can change this image out by double clicking on it and choosing another image from the file manager. I can change the style applied to the image by clicking the small paintbrush icon and then choosing from several predefined styles. If you ever want to resize an element by exact pixels, you can click on the resize by pixel option and then you can type the exact height and width that you would like your elements to appear. When you're ready to save your changes, click the save icon and they're published live to the web instantly. You can view your site by clicking the View Site button. Once you're happy with your website, you'll definitely want to get your very own domain name, for example, your own .com, and to do that, click on the Add Domain button, type the domain name that you would like to use with your website into the field provided, and then choose to check availability. If your domain name is available, you'll be able to upgrade to one of the Web Starts paid plans and that domain name will be configured to work with your website instantly. You can return to editing your website by clicking the edit site link and the web starts page editor will load once again. This video covered just a few of the most basic features of web starts. Be sure to check out our other videos to find out how you can do things like sell products, add forms, create memberships, or add photo galleries or even slideshows and guest books to your website. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you ever get stuck or just have a question, be sure to send us an email to support at webstarts.com or give us a call at 1-800-805-0920. Thanks for watching.